Texas Rangers hosting the Oakland A's. The A's are plus 122 on the money line. The Rangers are minus 144. The over-under is 8.5 runs. Oakland getting a run and a half is minus 175, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. The Rangers laying a run and a half are plus 145, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win this game by two. Uh, while the Chuck did not pitch against the Rangers last year or this year, Rogers has pitched once against the A's this year. Five innings, three runs, three earned. They lost that game seven to two. The A's are on a one game winning streak. They're two and eight in their last 10, 28 and 42 on the road, 67 and 74 on the run line. So seven games under 500 overall and 41 and 28 on the run line on the road. So 13 games over 500 been betting them that way. The Rangers are on a one game losing streak. They're three and seven in the last 10, 29 and 40 at home, 39, uh, 79 and 61 on the run line and 33 and 36 on the run line at home, three games under 500. Head to head, the Rangers are on a one game winning streak, not really a streak, they just won the last game. These teams are five and five against each other in the last 10. The over is five, four and one. That's what the casino sets it at. The over eight and a half is six and four. The underdog getting a run and a half is six and four. There have been two one run games in the last 10 meetings. The home team is six and four. Oakland hits lefties for an average of 216 while the Rangers hit lefties for an average of 249. And that's what made me go away from taking the A's to win the game. So I'm gonna take the Rangers with the money line, the A's with the runs and the over and hope that this is a one run game. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.